Australia was not on the same page, Andrew, with the United States when it came to a UN resolution last week. Yes, yeah, so the Albanese government's decision to support a resolution at the UN calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, voting against the US and Israel, caused some consternation in the Australian Jewish community. The government saw the wording as far from perfect and would have liked to have seen more condemnation of Hamas in the resolution, but it is concerned about 18,000 people, including many children, dying in Gaza. Less concerning to the Jewish community was a statement from the Australian, Canadian and New Zealand leaders at the same time as the UN resolution calling for that ceasefire but condemning Hamas and saying Israel had a right to defend itself. A similar statement was being considered prior to the recent ceasefire we saw, which saw the release of some hostages. There was also consideration, as I understand it, to widening those countries signing up to the statement that statement was initiated by Australia. It could have also included European countries and countries in the region, but it was decided to restrict it to those three Five Eyes countries. The government is concerned about China using the conflict in the region to denigrate the West and Australia with other nations. And there's concern from strategically important countries in the region, such as Indonesia, about what is going on in Gaza. Having said that, the prospect of an immediate ceasefire does look impossible and even naive with hostages still being held and due to the nature of those October 7 attacks. It looks like Australia and other countries are using this ceasefire call because they want Israel to take a different approach and kill less civilians as it targets Hamas.